Both MetEd First Energy and PPL say they will have power restored to 90% of customers by Friday evening. Even with that good news, though, it still means some will have to spend another night out of their homes. Just kind of take it with a grain of salt now, as the old saying goes. And and I don't let it get me down. This cot has been Bill Kincaid's home away from home. He came to this Red Cross shelter at the Living Hope Community Church after his home in Kinzer's Lancaster County lost power Wednesday morning. He showed up with just a duffel bag full of belongings. You know, basic daily what you might need. And his beloved pup, root beer. This is my baby. We're also partnering here at the Lancaster County shelter with the Lancaster County Animal Response Team. So folks who have uh, dogs or cats can bring their pets here. Five people spent Wednesday night in the warm gym. Night two, they expected more. Homes are really starting to lose their heat now and uh, folks are getting cold. In York, Terrio said he just could not spend another night in his house. And it was like 40 degrees and I can't. I can't do that anymore. I was sleeping with my clothes on, my jacket on. Um, it just wasn't very comfortable. So on Thursday, he went to the shelter at the York County School of Technology, adding to the 12 people who stayed here Wednesday night. We've been laughing and just having a good time and trying to forget about why we're really here. The Red Cross says shelters will stay open as long as they are needed. Working for you in York and Lancaster counties, Dan Kerrigan, ABC 27 News.